everyone. Today we will teach you how to make pandesal. Meanwhile, alis mo na ako. Si Mami mo na bala sa inyo. Um, hello po. Ngayon po, tuturuan namin kayo paano gawin yung fluffy pandesal. Uh, alam naman po natin lahat that pandesal is all time favorite po yan ng mga Pilipinos. Kasi, uh, we can have it uh, breakfast, lunch, merienda, or even dinner. Kasi, ganyan ka-importante yung tulong na nagagawa ng pandesal para sa atin. talo lalo na ngayon, we are in a very crisis uh, situation because of the pandemic. That's like, uh, karamihan sa mga Pilipino uh, bumibili ng pandesal. Kasi nga, yung iba wala ng mga trabaho. So, most of us cannot afford to buy expensive breads. Ika nga, nang nasa mall, and sa mga mamahaling bake shops. Uh, some of us cannot afford to buy cakes and some like that. Kaya nga, bumibili na lang yung iba sa atin ng pandesal kasi pwede natin makabili ng patingi-tingi, pakonti-konti. Kasi sa time ngayon, you have to be practical. Some of us bumibili ng pandesal para sa breakfast ng mga anak natin. Kaya, thank you talaga sa pandesal na nakakatulong sa ating mga Pilipinas. So, ngayon yung ingredients natin, we have the dry ingredients and the liquid ingredients. So, at yung flour natin. We will mix the sugar, a cup of sugar. Then, paghahalu-haluin natin ito. And then, we have to add yeast. A teaspoon or two of yeast. Pwede na po yan siya. We will mix this very well. Like this. And then... A pinch of salt or a teaspoon of salt. Depende kasi yan sa inyo kung, kung ano yung mas, mas maganda sa ano or mas masarap para sa inyo. So you can have that. Then, mix again. Kailangan kasi one at a time ito eh. Hindi natin pwede bigla-bigla na lang siya na i-mix natin na lang, no? Then, we will go to our uh, liquid ingredients. We have here our butter and milk with a cup of water. Then, we will add egg. Ito yung ginagawa natin ngayon um, hanggang sa mag-mix well yung ating egg, milk, and the butter. Like this. We will do like this. So we will make sure that the dough afterwards are mixed very well. You can also add the vanilla extra. This is an optional. Kung wala, okay lang din. And then after this, we will do the mixing. We will put the flour in 
our liquid ingredients like this. In making pandesal, you must have patience, love in doing this. Kasi daw, if you don't have the love, if you're not happy of what you're doing, yung pandesal po natin magiging matigas yun. So, the outcome will be, will also depend on our mood. So, dapat happy tayo. We have the love in our work. Kasi nga, iba nga sa atin, sinasabi, pandesal is died. Kasi nabubusog tayo nito. Nakaka-substitute ito ng pagkain para sa ating mga anak. And then, just continue to, to mix the ingredients. You know guys, my children really love this pandesa. na po siya lahat, the flour together with the liquid ingredients you know what guys, before I really don't have the interest in doing this but then when the pandemic started it was my husband who really tried his best to learn how to make pandisa then uh, he said why don't we try to sell this? So ngayon, our neighbors, pumupunta na lang dito sa bahay just to buy pantisal. Kasi, just even 10 pesos, they can have pantisal for their breakfast. Yun po, yung, yung motiv motivation namin para to continue doing this. We can help our neighbors and at the same time, the pandesal can help our living. Kahit pa kunti-kunti lang po. Okay. So, this is it. After this, we have to knead the dough. Ito yung kanyang result after mixing all the liquid and the dry ingredients. So, hindi pa po ito tapos. We are not done yet. So, all you have to do is to, to knead this and to make sure that napaghalo-halo natin yung ating mga ingredients. Andrew, can you help me put this on the sink? Andrew, can you put this on the sink? My dear son, thank you. What a very good boy. So, the next thing that we have to do is to knead the dough. But guys, do not forget that uh, before we start doing what uh, we are doing, especially in handling with food, Kailangan malinis tayo. Fingernails, bawal yung long. Dapat we should wash our hands. Properly ha. 
So, this is what we are going to do. So, if it's too sticky, uh, we have the option to add some flour. We'll do the kneading in just 7 minutes. And try to make sure that the dough is not too thick. I mean not too dry, not too thick to have a good result. You know, when I started this, I really woke up so early in the morning. Sometimes it made me tired. Sometimes I I feel so no, I don't like to to make it anymore. But then I realized that wala naman tayong ginagawa. So, why not spend our time or extra time doing this? Marami pa tayong tummy na mabubuso. Happy pa tayo. You really learn a lot of things sa panahon ngayon. So, we really had to work hard for our family to give them uh, the things that they really need, important things. That's why, kahit kaano ka, if, if we value this, you know, it's only now that I realized that um, valuing even a smallest thing is very precious. An experience that uh, you will be really proud of. So, ito na po yung ano yung itsura ng ating dough so, ito na po yung ating dough so after this we'll form this as like a ball like this. Yeah. Beautiful. This is it. And then, yung, hanggang dito lang po tayo sa pag-rest ng ating dough. Let the dough rest for one or two hours or the time na it double its size. So, we cover it. This one, like this. And let it rest for an hour or two for the time that it doubles its size. So, still, 
Andrew's next vlog. See you then. Andrew, say thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. See you in the next episode.